Elizabeth Arden Her Life Story and Quotes In 1910, beauty pioneer Elizabeth Arden welcomed clients into her first salon. Her business went global and transformed the image of women's cosmetics. In 1884, Elizabeth Arden was born in Canada. In 1910, she established her own salon in New York City. Arden played a significant role in elevating cosmetic use. In 1915, she had started selling her goods abroad by 1915, and her business was on its way to becoming a household name. Arden passed away in 1966, at the age of 81. More than 100 Elizabeth Arden salons were operating at that point. On December 31, 1884, in Woodbridge, Ontario, Canada, Florence Nightingale Graham, who would become Elizabeth Arden, was born. She was raised in an agricultural family that struggled to make ends meet as the fifth of five children. Graham took odd jobs as a young woman to support her family. She later studied nursing, getting interested in the lotions used to cure burns and briefly worked as a secretary before leaving Canada. In 1908, Graham settled in New York City, where she landed a job as an assistant to a beautician named Eleanor Adair. After gaining valuable industry experience, in 1910, Graham invested $1,000 to start a salon with a partner, Elizabeth Hubbard. The business was located on Fifth Avenue. Graham's collaboration with Hubbard had ended by 1914, but she chose to stay in the cosmetics business. She also started using Elizabeth Arden, the name of her salon. In an effort to expand her company, Arden employed a group of scientists to create the face cream and lotion that would serve as the initial goods in her new range of cosmetics. Arden created a marketing effort to transform the public's perception of beauty products at a time when makeup was more often associated with prostitutes than with respectable ladies. Arden benefited from the fact that makeup grew more socially acceptable as the close-up became a common filming technique. By 1915, Arden's brand was growing and she was starting to do business internationally. She started a salon in Paris in 1922 and eventually developed shops in Australia and South America. The business was doing so well by the 1930s that it even managed to thrive through the Great Depression, generating more than $4 million annually. Arden was not just a successful businesswoman, but also a devoted feminist. She took part in a march for women's rights in 1912. The 15,000 suffragettes she marched with donned red lipstick provided by Arden as a show of unity. Later in her career, she would create a unique line of cosmetics for female military service members. Arden also pioneered the way 
for several current standard beauty goods, such as travel size items. She also pioneered in-store makeovers and ran a number of upscale spas where guests could escape the outside world and be pampered and treated to beauty services. Arden's desire to succeed was greatly influenced by her rivalry with the Polish beauty businesswoman, Helena Rubinstein. The two women worked to outdo each other in the creation of new products, despite never having met in person. Arden expanded her business empire while basking in the wealth it had provided her buying racehorses and tending to them, with the same level of care, she gave her customers. After founding the Main Chance Farm in 1945, Arden was profiled on the cover of Time magazine, the following year for her achievements in the traditionally male-dominated sport of horse racing. Jet Pilot and Arden Thoroughbred won the Kentucky Derby in 1947. On October 18, 1966, in New York City, Arden passed away. The public didn't understand, she was 81 years old till after she passed away. To create the sense of everlasting beauty, she had hit her age. Arden has built her business into one of the most recognizable and prosperous companies in the world, through expertise and hard work. By the time of her passing, Arden had established more than 100 salons throughout the world and had a range of about 300 cosmetics. Eli Lilly paid $38 million for the company in 1971. Currently, it is believed to be worth more than $1.3 billion. As a successful businesswoman, Elizabeth Arden also has interesting quotes, here are some of them. Repetition makes reputation, and reputation makes customers. Every woman has the right to be beautiful. Nothing that costs, only a dollar is not worth having. I pick good women, but I haven't had any luck with my men. I only want people around me, who can do the impossible. There's only one Elizabeth like me, and that's the Queen. Dear, never forget one little point. It's my business. You just work here. Hold fast to life and youth. Hold fast to youth and beauty. Thank you for watching. See you on the next video.